Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to AgriFood Conversations brought to you by iSelect Fund, the Van Trump Report, the Yield Lab Institute, and Family Farms Group. I'm Tom Bunn, an associate on the iSelect Fund Ventures team, and I'm excited to welcome you all to our discussion today. AgriFood Conversations is all about driving innovation in food and ag. Each month, we highlight a specific theme, and this month's theme is crop protection. On today's call, we are joined by Julia Roulette, co-founder of Syosin Biotech. Syosin is developing a proprietary synthetic biology platform capable of designing and building high-precision bactericidal proteins and quickly developing new biobactericides. Its technology has the potential to accelerate the process from years to months with no need for bioprospecting and can support engineered proteins and biofactories by design. Its protein-based biobactericides are 100% biological, biodegradable, and non-toxic. Each of you knows companies are more likely to succeed with the right network of customers, talent, investors, and advisors. We have invited you to this webinar because you are some of the smartest, most talented people in Sison's market. You are potential customers for their products and services. You've built a similar company to Sison's, or you have unique expertise and understand the challenges and opportunities that Sison may face. Before we get started, we have a quick poll question to get a better idea of who we have on the call today please take a few moments to answer the question. A few process comments while the poll is running. We are not soliciting investment. This presentation is provide information to help Sison find customers, mentors, and other strategic relationships that can help them grow their business. Secondly, you can use the Q&A box to ask a question at any time, and we will answer as many questions as time allows at the end of the presentation. Finally, this webinar is being recorded and will be available for replay. So with that, I am pleased to introduce Julia Roulette, co-founder of Syosin Biotech. Thank you for joining us, Julia, and take it away. Hi, my name is Julia Roulette, co-founder of Syosin. At Syosin, we are here to improve food availability, protecting crop production in balance with nature. Take a look, bacterial spot. It is up to 50% is in Florida. Trichiller silella, that gives 60% all its production in Europe. Citrus canker, restricts growers to export. And not to mention citrus greening. They are just a few examples of bacterial diseases destroying fruit and vegetable production, generating losses of more than $36 billion per year globally. Until now, there is no cure. And listen, today, 98% of the prevention treatments are based on copper-derived chemicals. So bacteria are becoming more and more resistant to them. The worst part of this, copper-derived chemicals are broad spectrum, killing soil microbiomes. And if the soil dies, nothing grows. At Syosin, we are developing biologicals based on proteins to protect and cure fruit and vegetable crops from bacteria in a high precise way. Our proteins have the precision of an arrow targeting only the bacteria that we want to eliminate and that precision preserves soil microbiomes. Our biosolutions are biodegradable, they are non-toxic, they do not contain microorganisms, nor DNA, neither GMOs. They are UV and temperature resistant. They can be applied by spray on the plants, fruits, and seeds in conventional production as well as organic production. We are the founder team, Marcos, MBA and software engineer with more than 10 years leading technology-based companies. And myself, daughter of farmers, PhD in biological sciences, specialized in synthetic biology for more than six years of experience. Here, 
it's our most important point. Currently, to develop a biological solution takes around 10 years. At Cyosin, we can do it in months through our proprietary synthetic biology platform. Focusing on the target bacteria, we start designing and engineering each biological solution in the computer with no need to go to nature to find it. Then we build that biology in the lab, reusing our engineered components and biofactories, gaining speed, accuracy, and increasing the probability of success with less money. Now we are validating our first engineered biobacter sites for citrus and tomatoes in order to scale. To give you some idea about the capabilities of our platform, the development of our second solution took 32% less time and 18% less money than the first one. We are backed by very important investors in the bioactech space, Gridex from Latin America, Thrive SBG Ventures from here in the US, in California, and Blue Horizon from Europe. We have collaboration agreements with an important citrus global company and a farmer business network here in the US. And we are looking for more strategic partners for the trials. And uh, since at Cyosin, we can develop solutions to target any bacteria, we are now investigating a solution to be applied post-harvest in fresh food like green leaves to eliminate bacteria affecting food safety. FAO estimates 140 million hectares of fruit and vegetable crops are harvested per year. And according to current average usage of copper derived chemicals, a global market of $42 billion is estimated. At Cyosin, we can cure plant bacterial diseases. We can protect crop production in a sustainable way, and we can preserve soil health. We are the new generation of precision biobactericidal technologies. Thank you. Great, Julia, thank you so much for walking us through the story. Um, we do have uh, some time now for Q&A for the attendees. Um, as I mentioned, the best way to ask a question is either to type a question into the Q&A pane or to raise your hand. Uh, you can see the hand raising icon at the, at the bottom of your Zoom app and I can unmute you and you can ask Julia a question directly. Uh, but Julia, to, to get us started, can you talk a little bit about kind of the genesis of the of the technology? It sounds like you have a good division of labor with uh, the co-founder, one on the scientific side and one on the uh, more the business side. But how did how did uh, the company come to be, and and uh, what's the research that's kind of the the cornerstone of the company? Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, um, we we got, our company is based on a synthetic biology technology. Uh, the proteins uh, we are inspired by are proteins that are, that, uh, are in nature, but these proteins uh, need to be adapted to the purpose that we need uh, to focus, in this case, to, to target different bacteria and to target them in a high precise way so that we don't harm uh, the soil health, that we need to take care. Uh, I'm coming from a background of a, a, a family that is coming from agriculture. And uh, I grew up uh, learning how, how relevant nature is and how, how important it is to take care of it for future generations. And that's why we are here. Uh, we think uh, to take care of the soil and take care of the, of the health of the plants will take care of our, of our health. And uh, that's how everything starts. Um, we think uh, if we get better energy, uh, better food, we are gonna be healthier. And we will we we will be um, uh, better better uh, every day, you know, because uh, what what we are indeed we are just energy, and we we need to to incor incorporate the best energy. So that's why uh, we we think uh, it's important to take care of the food uh, and uh, to produce that in balance with nature. Great, thank you. And are they? Are they applied uh, 
prophylactically or um, or post-emergent from the pathogen point of view? Yeah, it's uh, to prevent uh, the disease. Okay. And uh, then uh, we are also uh, working on to, to cure the disease. Uh, so until now, there is no cure for this kind of diseases. And uh, we think it's high relevant because uh, the, the health of these kind of plants, some of some, a, a, a very important percentage it's, uh, are perennial plants. And some of them takes a lot of time to, to, to get them productive since uh, the, the time you, you, you have a, a seed on your, or, or a, a tiny plant on, on your field. So it's very important to, to take care of the, of the health of these plants. And uh, if we can cure them, uh, it's, it's better for, for the growers to not have to get rid of them when they have a, a, the disease on, 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 their, on their crops. So we think it's high relevant in that sense. And until now, there is no, no cure. Great. Looks like we have a question from Paul that just came in. Paul says, nice talk. You mentioned citrus greening as a target of your technology. How do you deliver your protein engineered interventions to the non-foliar niche occupied by HLB and citrus? Yeah, thank you, Paul. Um, yes, we we are uh, not right now uh, working on uh, on this disease. This is one of the of the ones that we are uh, targeting in the in the near future. Uh, so in this case, uh, it's not it's not the case. But um, anyways, this this kind of proteins could be in the water and go inside inside the vascular system of the plants. Uh, so that's the way in which uh, you can approach these kind of diseases that are vascular, uh, and of course they can be on the on the on the foliar uh, if if the if the disease is affecting the foliar foliar part of the plant. You're welcome. Great, thanks, Paul. Julia, can you talk about where you are in development? Um, with field trials and, and proof of concept. Um, and then would love to hear you talk a little bit about distribution. I know uh, in the past, sometimes growers have been inundated with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, you know, microbial products. So wondering if you, if you can point to a specific mode of action that, that, that makes growers more likely to adopt this uh, technology and this product. Yes, sure. Uh, so yes, we, we are uh, in the development stage uh, doing uh, some trials. We have uh, different collaboration agreements. Uh, important citrus grower company uh, in Latin America uh, and also uh, here with uh, Farmer Business Network uh, for, for the trials. Uh, also, we are looking for, for more strategic partners. So uh, if anyone is here in this and is interested in reaching out, it's very welcome. And uh, yeah, the, the, the way uh, this, these are proteins, so these proteins do not reproduce itself by the, themselves. So this is safer in terms of that to, to uh, take care of uh, the safety of the, also for, 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 if, for that concern that some growers might have. And um, these, are, uh, these proteins are biodegradable, so they are, uh, um, not uh, a problem in terms of uh, toxicity. They are also non-toxic. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I, there is anything that uh, you asked me, but this is mainly uh, yeah the, how, how they, they work. They work uh, recognizing the, the target uh, and uh, specifically, this is very important to have in mind they recognize only the, the, the bacteria that, the, that we need to eliminate and uh, then uh, they kill it. They kill that target, but they don't, they don't work if they don't find the target. So in that sense, you take care of the microbiomes. Great. Thank you. Wondering about 2022 and, and what the next... 12, 18 months look like for you? What's, what does success look like? If we were to um, speak again in February of 2023, what, what would you like to have accomplished? Yeah, 
uh, well, we uh, we we are uh, doing uh, some trials that uh, I think are worth uh, for 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 the company, and also we are expanding our platform. Uh, our platform is very important because uh, it's the way in which we develop each solution, and indeed. Um, uh, that's the, the, the focus of the company. It's uh, to have different solutions for different crops, but having in mind that these, these solutions are very high precise, uh, each, each solution needs a, a development process. And that's what we are doing at Siosing, speeding up that process every day uh, to have the solution ready as, as soon as possible, because we don't want that growers have to to wait years for a solution this doesn't make any sense and uh, that's one of the reasons i think uh, biologicals uh, are not already like uh, very very in in the market at some point is because it takes a long time to to have a solution like this and uh, with our platform we are speeding up that process and to be able uh, to to have a, a, a high precise solution that uh, work efficiently uh, and uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a long term, in a, in a short period of time, right? Sure, great. Thank you. Paul has a follow up question. Paul asks, have you tested the rate of emergence of pathogen resistance to your interventions? Do you see resistant clones rapidly evolving in the lab or field? Well, um, you know, nature, of course, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a process that uh, occurs in nature, resistance, and we have, uh, we, we test that, and uh, we know uh, the, 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 the appearance of resistance is very, very low. Uh, and apart from that, we are always, uh, I mean, managing that in terms of different ways of, of our proteins, uh, the cocktail of proteins that we, we have in our solutions so that uh, and they have different mechanisms that uh, do not, it's not that easy for, for, for the bacteria to be resistant. And at the same time, we predict uh, how that could evolve to, to be prepared. And, and, and that, that, that's part of what we do with our platform as well. That's the, the feasibility that gives us the platform to, to be able to engineer this according to these predictions and, and how this could evolve. Thank you. Great, thanks for that. Well, I will uh, pause for a couple moments here to see if there are any other questions from the audience. But uh, Julia, in the meantime, we like to ask in closing, how can, uh, this audience here listening live and, and the ones listening uh, retroactively to the recording, how can they help you and, and Siosin? Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, I think uh, in terms of uh, strategic partners for the trials, for example, if you are a grower or, or uh, you are close to a grower company who might be interested in this kind of solution, uh, we are very glad to, to hear from you, to, to talk. We are always, uh, we think it's very important to have a, a, a nice relationship with, with, this, uh, with the growers and understand their pain points to be, to be prepared for what they, are, for what they need. Uh, we, we are coming indeed from, from a background of agriculture, as I said, uh, and my, my family is, uh, works on, on agriculture and I know how, how important it is uh, to take care of, 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 your, of your production and, and, uh, and to take care of, of what you are doing. So yeah, that's, that's very important. And also uh, anyone who is interested in, in, in learning more and uh, understanding about Siocene in terms of, uh, I mean, any point, uh it's it's inter interesting to be in contact so please uh, do not hesitate in reaching out thank you great well julia thanks so much for joining us congratulations on the progress um uh, thanks for being an entrepreneur in this space uh very exciting work you're working on um 
And uh, thank you to the audience for your active participation. As a reminder, we host these agri-food conversations every Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. Uh, as a reminder, this month's theme is crop protection. Uh, so look out for an update email or notice on uh, the presenter for next week. Um, and again, if you want to share this with a friend, please, we encourage you to do so. Uh, a replay will be emailed to you in the next 24 hours, and you can encourage new viewers to register for upcoming Agri-Food Conversations by going to agrifoodconversations.com. So yeah, again, I, I, uh, want to, I want to uh, say uh, thank you to, to, to Agri-Food Conversations and the organizers uh, of this event uh, for inviting us. And uh, it, it's a pleasure for us to be here. So thank you so much. Of course, thank you for joining us, Julia. And uh, we hope to see everybody next week for a conversation with Enco, which is a crop protection company applying the latest drug discovery and development approaches from pharmaceuticals uh, to plants. So interesting uh, approach uh, specifically on more of the uh, synthetic chemical approach to uh, crop protection. Um, so thank you all again for your time and we will uh, hopefully uh, hear from you next week. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.